Hey there folks, Xavier Thorne here with a new Let's Play. Today I will be playing Five Days a Stranger by Ben Yahtzee Croshaw, and this game is brought to you by GamingOne.com. I'll let this little intro go ahead. I can wait. And I'm already tired of waiting. Let's ramble on for a bit. What to ramble about? Let's see. Wonderful. I am drawing up a blank. That's not good. Not when you're a Let's Player. No, it is very bad for a Let's Player to draw a blank. Oh, luckily, uh, this little intro text doesn't last too much longer. There you go. There's, there's our character getting out of his car. Come on. Come on. And there you go. Now, as you can see, this is the special edition of the game. And there's this little funny little interview thing. And, and trust me, this is funny. And I'm actually going to play this right now before we get into the game. Go for it. My next guest is amateur game designer Yahtzee, who is joining me here in the Reform Minor Lounge to talk about Five Days of Stranger. This is hilarious, folks. You're going to love it. Unfortunately, Yahtzee couldn't be with us in person tonight. But we have been able to channel his spirit through an adolescent border collie. Yahtzee, welcome. Nice to be here. So, Five Days of Stranger. Winner of five AGS awards, nominated for DIY Games Game of the Year. Where did it all begin? <laughs> this is hilarious. Well, Simone, the idea first came to me while playing a hentai game called Nocturnal Illusion. I found myself... Whoa, 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 slow down. Hentai game? Er, yes. As in Japanese cartoon porn? Look, we can't control where inspiration strikes from was just the concept of isolation in a mysterious house that got me thinking if... Exactly how closely did you intend to follow your source material? Were you planning some kind of gangbang scene at any point? I should take this moment to point out that this part is really not for children. Uh, viewer discretion is advised. Probably should have said that sooner! But uh, I was still thinking too much about how hilarious this was. No, Yahtzee was not planning a gang vaccine, no. Hope you guys were reading that while I was doing my little disclaimer. <laughs> okay, so, you were playing a hentai game, and after you finished wanking... Look, I object to this line of question. You're getting fixated on the hentai game thing when it was one of several influences. Okay, so how much porn did you need before you could start on the game? That's it, this interview's over. Aren't you going to storm out? Er, this is kind of embarrassing. I kind of couldn't be arsed to make walking sprites for this dog. That's been your problem all over, hasn't it? You have these visions of games, then you just can't be arsed to put all the necessary effort in. I don't understand your attitude, Simone. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't even be in this game. Oh, and I'm supposed to thank you for that, am I? You could have at least drawn us some damn food. I lost two stone while I was stuck in here. I explained this in the commentary. God, you're pathetic. And it becomes even more pathetic when you realize that you're writing all my dialogue and I'm still insulting you. Hey, yeah. I'm the omnipotent master of this realm. Shazam! You bastard. You turned me into an adoles adolescent border collie as well. To be precise, a female adolescent border collie in heat. Let's shag. Do you remember to draw shagging dog sprites? Oh. <laughs> I love that. And actually, uh, just before recording this, was the first time I even watched that because I hadn't even noticed it was there. Okay, I'm going to be leaving the author commentary off for this because it does give away a lot of story elements. So let's start the game. Ah. Mouse screwed up. Day one! Yay! 
Yes! The Gentleman Thief! Trilby! Alright, let's just get right into it. You can come down here, click those, or you can right click, choose your actions like that. We have one item, it's our Growly, you know, umbrella grappling hook. So, up, oh, nope, now I have to click the hand again. Op just open the safe, and it's empty. Guess the family solicitor got here first. Check the door! Prefer to leave the way I came in. Sure you do, Trilby. Ah, oh, that's a shame. All right, old-fashioned way out. Everyone loves the old-fashioned way out. Oh no, we're not alone. Um, hi. What? Man, okay. Stay away from you. No problem. Do wonder what his problem is, though. <laughs> All right, the mask. Yes, who was that guy indeed, Trilby? Let's go find out. Once we have control. All right. All you gotta do. Now I'm using the hand. Okay, he's obviously not in this door. We know that. We can see this door from when, before he ran. Maybe this one. No, locked. Why are you locked? Ah, locked again. Yay, the bathroom! Hey, a rug. I shouldn't think that there's much underneath. You never know, Trilby. You never know. Trilby! Where's, speaking of Trilby, where's my hat? I should be wearing that right now. Nothing's here. How anticlimactic. Yes, I indeed should be wearing my hat right now. My nice little Trilby. What? Uh, but I guess that'll have to wait for part two of the game's recording. Because my Trilby is all the way on the other side of the room and I just can't be asked to go get it right now. But we can grab this newspaper, sure enough. And it is important that you read this newspaper right now. It's good to just read things when you get them. Because, you know, it, it'll help you. It'll keep, well, it'll keep you from getting stuck later on. I'm not even kidding, you have to read this newspaper, it's mandatory. Death stabbed to death, you say? Oh no! There's no mystery? What? What do you mean no mystery? Defoe killed his wife, then himself. Oh no! This is horrible! And we're here, trying to steal things! Wow. Yeah, well, no one's using them. We are a gentleman thief. There was no suicide note. Oh, no. No suicide note. Got it. Solicitor is skeptical. Duly noted. Oh, right. Well, let's try to show this off. Watch the painting. It's a fun little thing to do. You're bored. Keep flipping uh, back and forth. That, and there you go, look! There is now a shadowy figure in the distance of the painting. He comes and goes from time to time. In fact, let's show off this. Yes, it's a door. Another door. No, it's the same door. It's what we in the trade call a door. Let's show off every Easter egg we know of. And we know of a good number. And I'll, I'll leave uh, enough time for you to read these things. They're not very long. Ha ha ha! It's a door. Yes, it is. Oh, wait, wait. Make this funnier. Yes, that is the best door in the whole house. Ooh, really? Really, Trilby? Yes, you have. Really? pair of, of earrings. Yes, you, you would like the earrings, Trilby. Thief. Part of being a thief. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, I just love that line. Sorry, I have a tendency to ramble when players won't stop looking at the bloody doors. And now that it doesn't happen again, don't bother trying. So what, we can, what we're going to do, take everything that's useful. Thinking, well, take everything the game will let us take, like that cord. And then let's turn on the television and watch it. 
It'll be great. Alright. This text often goes too fast for me to read out loud, but I'll do what I can. Starting on the next part of the text here. Our correspondent, Peter Daltrey, has the report. Yay! It was just four weeks ago that this place was a buzz of activity as Sir Clarence Defoe moved in with his new bride, Julia Swanson Defoe. Now, after this shocking tragedy, the place is quiet as the tomb and empty of human life. No, it's not. I'm here. <laughs> Sir Clarence had only proven his attachment to the Defoe lineage almost one year ago and since then has been renovating the long-abandoned family mansion in preparation for his marriage. The police have already declared the tragedy a murder-suicide. <laughs> oh, how little they know. The bait rages on, while the fate of the house and family fortunes remain out there. Fortunes, you say? Ooh, yeah, I'm definitely in the right place. There's fortunes laying about. Yes, yes, top stories again. Reception cuts out. Yes. You hate television, Shelby. Yet we're going to watch it every day. Must show off everything! Oops. It's about time you showed up. Uh, excuse me, sir. Is there a problem? Have I done something to offend you? Um... I don't know where the way out is. I mean, I'm stuck here, too. Uh, no, I'm the guy breaking in. Didn't you get the memo? Oh, wait, there is no memo. Never mind, never mind. Uh, no, no, I'm sorry, the window's shut. Can't open it. Trust me, if I could have gotten that window open, you wouldn't be talking to me right now. I would have just left. Only five chairs. Oh yeah, I, I hope no one else shows up too. Yes, who indeed? All right, Phil, it is Phil a party. How you doing, Phil? What do you mean the house won't let me leave? What is this nonsense? Yes. What is going? As I said, what is this nonsense? I demand explanations. I also demand that this text be over with so I can end the video and start a new one. Hope blathering on. Yes, yes, reporter. Like a teenager, and yeah, the AJ, the scared guy we met before. We'll meet everyone in good time. Yes, yes, you have already met AJ. Yes, heartwarming story. Blah blah blah. Can, can, can we get on with it? Can I? Can I have control back before this video gets too long and I have to stop it abruptly and awkwardly? Yes, I don't understand. Yes, find the others, tell them to meet in the lounge. Yes, yes, hurry. Hurry. Come! Yes, we will discuss things properly in the next video. Good. There's plenty of time for my little outro thingy, whatever you want to call it. Sign you can call it signing off, whatever. But that'll be it for this video. Stay tuned for the next one.